ever typed a prompt, hit enter, and thought, wow, that is not what I meant. It's okay. It's not you. It's mid-journey. There's a learning curve nobody warned you about, but once you see it, you can work with the tool instead of fighting it. Today, we are reviewing five things creative pros learn the hard way so you don't have to. Let's start with our hardest truth first. Images won't be final. Your first draft, it's going to be off a little bit, maybe a lot. That's not failure, it's process. Mid-journey rewards iteration, not perfection. Pros don't nail it, they narrow it fast. Let me show you how to start with an idea and iterate quickly to go find the right path. So let's jump in. I've got a prompt already set up here to save us some time. Uh, and we're gonna be making a product photography and we're gonna be iterating some ideas about a whiskey glass and tumbler set. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw in and get the thing going. And uh, usually I start this way just to see what we get and we iterate from here. This is the really quick way of doing things. Here's our final results. Which one do you like the best? So we only made four. Now, I like this one the best. Now here's what I like to do is to hit very subtle and very strong because we want to see what else Midjourney can create with this. But we also can do this where we're choosing the prompt and we're also using the image and we're going to drag the image over to style reference and we'll hit up an image weight, which is dash dash IW and we'll use the number three, which means make a lot of iterations just like the image I just sent you. And we can also hit repeat four because if you've watched any of my videos, you know I love that, right? And now we're creating 16 new images that are based on the first image that I liked. But let's go ahead and back up a little bit and check out the images that we made with variations. I like that one. So the reason why this works is because we're using very subtle and very strong, but we're also giving uh, some other instructions. So using the first image to generate the next, that's a winner right there. So if you're trying to do something for a client with some product design, here's how you can use Midjourney to quickly iterate and come up with some new ideas on size and shape and different things. And then we can start playing around with the decoration, the color of the lid, all types of things. Next up, forget about text. Look, if you're still trying to get Midjourney to spit out clean, readable type, you're wasting your time. The text is gibberish. It always has been. It probably still will be next week. But that doesn't mean you give up on good design. The pro move, design for the text space, not the text. Use prompting and a mid-journey workflow to get to where you want to go. Now remember, you're the art director here. Mid-journey is your assistant. It's got to do what you tell it, right? So let's go ahead and throw in a new prompt. And let's say we're making a travel poster for uh, somewhere in Florida or something. We want to do a beach house with a boat dock and some palm trees. And we're not putting a whole lot of prompts in. We're just giving it a go. So here are our four results. And let's say you're designing an ad. Which one of these would you use? I think I'd use the first one. Okay. But guess what? Maybe you want just a tad more space and I would be putting some copy and a logo and that type of stuff over here. So here's what we can do is we can just go right here to the editor and then we can find a, uh, a little horizontal edge to this. And we just kind of scooch that over there. We hit submit and it's going to make us a new shape of, for the image. And that allows us to find a little more negative space where we can drop in our text and we could do the things that we need to do. And that's going to really help us create an image that's going to work for us. Here's our final result. 
Can you imagine your logo and text going in right here? I can. Here's something important to remember. Sometimes you use the wrong aspect ratio. Here's what most people miss. Mid-Journey composes for your aspect ratio. It doesn't just crop, it fills the space and centers the subject to make it look balanced. So if you start with a square, you get a centered composition. Start wide, you get a wider scene. But here's the trick. Your starting ratio doesn't have to be your final one. Start with whatever gets to vibe right, then reframe it to a new aspect ratio to build the layout you actually want. The pro move is to use the aspect ratio on purpose, not just because it's the default. Here's what we mean. Let's create something and show you the workflow that I recommend. I've got a prompt already put in there. Let's get it going and let's create something that's going to look really nice. And then we're going to expand it and play with it and find out exactly where we can go. So here's our image. It's a watercolor image of a yellow lab. Really nice. Which one do we like the best? I'm kind of torn between that one and this one. We're going to play with this one. All right. So what do we want to do? Let's create a poster style of this. Same thing. We just go to the editor. Now let's create a more vertical look. Let's push this down a little bit, right? And then we're going to create this negative space up here that we can put some ad copy in or a logo. Maybe we're doing something for uh, a hunter group or a camp or something. This is where that's going to work. In a couple moments, you have the exact thing, but it doesn't just stop there. Here's what I like to do is I like to always see what's around the corner. So let's find one of these that we like the best. Kind of like this one with this little grass right here. So let's go ahead and hit very subtle and let's just hit very strong just to see what we get. And here's eight new images that are based on the image that we created with the bigger image. I'm totally digging this one right here, and that's the one I'd probably use. Speaking of images, let's talk about why mood boards beat prompts. If you're still relying on only words to guide your style, you're missing the real superpower. Mid Journey responds way better to visual input than people realize. When you use an SREF to upload a custom style reference or build out a mood board first, you get consistency, tone, and visual identity that prompts alone can't deliver. After all, a picture is worth a thousand words, right? This is how the pros keep the same look across product lines, scenes, or brand assets. They don't just describe it, they show it. Mood boards are the fastest way to get mid-journey to understand your style and stick to it. All right, so let's show off some mood board stuff. So we've got a prompt, old cowboy leaning on a fence. And before we use a prompt for the watercolor. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use our watercolor mood board. And I've got it turned on. Here's right here, right? And we're going to create uh, some old cowboys leaning on a fence, but they're going to be watercolor paintings. And we didn't use the word watercolor. We're using the mood board for watercolors. And let me show you how great this looks. So here we go. And here's our old cowboy. Perfect. Which one you like the best? I like this one. Looks like Charlie Daniels. Let's be clear. Mid journey is a supercharger. AI isn't coming for your job, it's giving you a new creative engine. Mid-Journey isn't about replacing talent, it's about amplifying it. The best creatives are using tools like this to ideate faster, test more ideas, and stay in the flow longer. You still make the decisions, you still shape the vision, but now you can get five hours of visual exploration in five minutes. This isn't the end of creativity. It's the start of a new pace, a new power, and a new way to work. Use it well. And you don't just keep up, you lead. If this helps you think differently about mid-journey, good. That's the point. 
For more real talk, smarter workflows, and a community that gets it, join us at the MidJourney Experience. And don't forget to subscribe. You're just getting started. The link is in the description. <laughs>